The other day I was thinking about how cranberries get love for like maybe one month in the entire year and then nothing. And that just seems so sad. So I'm going to make a cranberry sauce and have some cranberries. You won't have all of the ingredients, but it will be easy to do. Promise. <laughs> You'll need salt, port wine, sugar, cranberries and orange, and cloves. Mine is expired in 2018. And I knew it was expired because this is the one that I keep using every year. And it still smells like cloves. So first things first, there's like no instructions. It's just measuring, pouring, and then it does its thing. Take your cranberries that you got in a bag at the grocery store. They all come in a bag. Most of them come in the bag. Put it in the pot. There is one cup of port wine in here. Cheers. This cranberry sauce was the first cranberry sauce that I fell in love with and I thought I didn't like cranberry sauce at all. A half a cup of sugar. I might add in just a little bit less. The zest of one whole orange. And I don't have a zester, so we'll have to use a cheese grater. Next up, a tiny teaspoon of cloves. Half teaspoon, sea salt. Oh God. Stir it up. I let it sit for like 15 minutes. Okay, you're done, you did it, congratulations, you made it. So this is what it looks like. And now you'll probably want to put it in the fridge, so bottle it up. Or you could even serve it now. I don't really have anything to try it on, but I did make tosone, so maybe cranberry sauce and tosone. Not horrible, but very good. On top of salmon and maybe with a side of potatoes and kale. I feel like cranberries can be eaten all year long and we limit them. Why are we limiting them?